Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now. Good morning, Big Square Road to Dot Good morning, Horn of Z's. Your sip of Chaga coffee. I posted an interview um, with Andy Sheckman yesterday on the YouTube channel. Go check it out. Silver Derivative Slam Opportunity. Buy silver with the banks. That's what the banks do. After they slam the price under the 100-day, 50-day, and 200-day moving average, they get the tech funds to sell their longs and go short, and then they cover their short positions. Wash, rinse, repeat, the whole thing. It's ugly, it's illegal, it's manipulative, but it is the world we live in. Um, yes, they can dump any amount of silver on the market and crash the price of silver to minus $40 like they did in oil. It's the click of a mouse, it's that easy. Some people tell me, then why Why should I invest in silver, Bix? You keep saying it's rigged. Why should I invest in silver? Because it will end. With the road to root of theory, there are good guys behind the scenes orchestrating this game. If you want to know a few things, one, go to roadtorooter.com. I've got two videos that explain in very simple terms what happened, how it happened, and how we got to where we are. The first one is, this is right on the front page at roadtorooter.com. First one is part one, Secrets of the Fed. Second one is gold and oldies to the crypto future. The first one deals with a the road to root theory that there are people behind the scenes. And and this, I, I invented this theory long before Q and all that stuff went on. Um, this was 2007 that I found these documents at the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston. And I walk you through in that video, I walk you through how this all worked, how it all happened. Um, and I've added to it over the years, obviously when I found all the gold in the Grand Canyon, wow, that, that really gave the, the missing piece to, uh, G. Edward Griffith's book, Missing Pieces, why, why did Woodrow Wilson allow it, the Federal Reserve, to happen? It was all because of the gold they found in the Grand Canyon. The entire system would have been in disarray. Uh, when you find all of a sudden 10 times or maybe even 20 times the amount of gold uh, that back then, actually, <laughs> it's 100 times more the amount of gold that was in circulation as money. Be- because there was about 100 million, 120 million ounces of gold in circulation in the U.S., and then another 100 and about 100 million held by the banksters, and they found billions of ounces in the Grand Canyon. We don't know exactly how much there is. They set up a lot of dams um, to take care of the Glen Ellen Dam, uh, the Hoover Dam, and what that did is flooded the banks behind it, all filled with placer gold. So, and there's other types of gold in the, you know, if you, if you want to go down the conspiracy route, I love going down there and they have found all kinds of, they're not Egyptian artifacts in the Grand Canyon. They are some pre-Egyptian um, civilization. In the Grand Canyon, the United States of America. You're not allowed to go in the caves in the Grand Canyon, by the way. 95% of them are off limits to you. You're not allowed to, to hike on the, the bottom of the Grand Canyon where these these structures are, and there's all kinds of things going on in the Grand Canyon. But that's the reason. That is the reason why um, we had to create the Federal Reserve System, and it's the reason why they've been able to kick the can down the road for so long. But that is ending. I did an interview yesterday with uh, David, X22 Report. Go check that out. Go to x22report.com. Scroll down, you'll see my interview called The Good Guys Are Using the Bad Guys to Destroy Their Economic System. I talk about what's going on in the world and how they are using the shutdown of uh, globalization to destroy the banking cabal. This is the end game. And that's when silver is really going to run. Ultimately, the good guys can take out the bad guys by running the price of silver over $50. Poof. Goodbye, JP Morgan. Goodbye, Bank of America. Goodbye, Citibank. That's how easy it is to destroy the system. These are too big to fail banks. If you take out one too big to fail bank, you take out them all. And then the ramifications of that are shocking. Uh, so yes, they have slammed the price of silver down below the 200-day moving average. No surprise. Here it is in the graphic form. Right here, 200-day moving average was right around the 2380 mark. Um, and poof, it's gone. 
So look what happened last time. After they slammed down the below the 200-day moving average, it kept going down, 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 down. But but now keep this in mind. When you're investing in silver, you have dollars to the downside and unlimited upside. Yeah, the price of silver may go under $20. You won't be able to get physical silver for that. The premiums will just increase as the price goes down because it is inverse, inverse of what you might think. When they slam the price of silver, you can't buy any. When the price of silver goes down, you can't buy it. This is just another proof positive that the price of silver is rigged. The, the CFTC has hired JP Morgan and Citibank employees to be their commissioners now. So they're not going to say anything. No. It's a, the telltale sign of manipulation is the price goes down and there's no availability. And the price goes up and everybody can buy silver. Well, if the price stays in the medium, the price falls so far that every single person on the planet cannot buy silver. That's a problem. That's called manipulation. That's what the CFTC refuses to admit. The United States is a criminal organization. I hate to tell you, your government is so criminal, it's beyond belief. And they've been doing it for so long in the shadows. And what we do on the road to Ruta is try to take them out of the shadows. Our friend down in Australia, John Adams, bravo. He's back in the mix after being attacked by the bad guys. These are like the, the pseudo bad guys, guys like at Kitco. Kitco is a fraudulent organization, if you ask me. I, I don't believe anything they say. I'm not a fan. Everybody loves to use their charts, but you know they are not on the side of the silver investor. I'll tell you that right now. John Adams breaking. I have just received an email from the Federal Reserve Bank of Australia. The uh, Royal Bank of Australia has confirmed the audit of Australia's gold in London has already happened. The Royal Bank of Australia has informed me that they will be releasing a summary of the audit in due course. It's not a big deal. It means nothing. Is the gold there? Absolutely, it's there. The question in an audit is not, is the gold real? Yeah, you might have to drill the bars and stuff, which they never do in gold. But the big question is, how many times has it been rehypothecated? Leases, loans, swaps, derivative contracts, all pledging the same bars of gold. That's how the game is rigged. And that audit will say nothing about the paper trail. Sure, you can walk into any big vault and say, okay, there's a, a 10,000, 100 ounce bars of gold in here. That means nothing. It means nothing. How many times has each bar been pledged to one of these derivative contracts that allows the manipulation of silver? I mean, of gold and silver. But the banks don't hold any silver. Hint, hint, hint. Who's got all the gold? The banks. Who's got all the silver? We the people and the, the businesses that need it. Silver is the way. At 81 to 1, at least it was this morning, 81 to 1 gold-silver ratio, you should not even blink an eye at swapping all your gold, every ounce of gold, even your gold fillings for all the silver you can get. They're going to give you 80 to 1. you probably get like 75 to 1. There's commissions in there. But the reality is silver is massively price-suppressed. And there's a hell of a lot of gold out there. When people find this out, they're going to freak. Because they thought, oh, gold is the ultimate asset. No, it's not. It was maybe at one time before industrialization. And before they found all that gold in the Grand Canyon and Chocolate Mountain and up in Alaska. There's gold freaking everywhere. Why do they want to not tell you? Because all the bankers own it. I think we will go to a gold coin redeemable standard in the United States. Because we have so much of the damn stuff. I'm not saying the price of gold will go down. The, the price is determined by derivatives, just like silver. The banks want the price to go up because they have it all. They don't want the price of silver to go up because it is the bank destroyer. Luckily, you guys know all this. Buy your physical silver. If you don't have a local dealer, contact Andy Sheckman at Miles Franklin. Send him an email. Send it to info, I-N-F-O, at milesfranklin.com. He just got a whole bunch of silver in-house, cheap. Go contact him and get yourself some silver in your own possession. Info at milesfranklin.com. Make the move now. All right. Uh, I can't say this guy's name because I got demonetized yesterday for saying his name and what he was doing. Bravo for free speech. That's all I have to say. Bravo for free speech. 
uh, housing market is starting to crash. Uh, we knew this was coming. Uh, the Fed is in a predicament. Do you destroy the housing market and the stock market to protect, uh, to slow down inflation? If you do that, you're going to have to raise interest rates to 10 or 15% immediately. And they have no plan of doing that. No plan. So you're going to see the housing market crash. Um, I think houses will go down 90 to 95% of where they are now if the banks go down. How many people can buy a house without a home loan from these criminal bankers? So you're talking about a massive deflationary event in a banking crash because there'll be no money available. That's why you have physical gold, silver, and have some cash in your hand. And then they're going to have to issue a new currency at some point. And according to the Road to Ruta documents, it's going to be gold. And potentially, now the Road to Ruta documents came out before cryptos were invented, before Satoshi came up with the uh, fix the double spin problem. But I do think that the 1 million uh, Bitcoin that Satoshi has and Bitcoin Cash that Satoshi has will be used in the United States by the government. I think they were heavily involved in it. And it'll be part of our new system. And they can attach gold to cryptos. You can do anything you want in the crypto world. But what will people accept? That's the key. People will accept going back to the gold standard when they lose everything. But they won't accept the IMF, the World Bank. Those people will be in jail. They'll be tried for, I mean, in the Federal Reserve system, you, know, you, you figure out who's the bad guy and who's not. Federal Reserve is huge. Not all of them are bad. But there are bad people who've done bad things. And they need to be weeded out of the U.S. Treasury and the U.S. Federal Reserve and tried for treason. And I can't even tell you where to start with the banksters. But no, the, I, there'll be no global financial system. Uh, there'll be no quantum financial system. There'll be no Nesra. There'll be no Jesra. It's all bullshit to keep you entertained. Sorry. Because there's no deciders. Who would have the authority to decide something like that when they're the ones who screwed up the problem in the first place? The central banks are talking about a CBDC. Well, why would they be talking about a CBDC unless they know that they screwed up their old system and they who the hell would ever, ever trust what the bankers do ever, ever again? Or the Treasury Department of the United States, or the U.S. Mint. Yes, the U.S. Mint. They are, they are literally breaking the law every day by not, not creating silver eagles in quantities that meet demand. They don't have to in gold. That's not the law. But in silver, it is. And I know people at the U.S. Mint. And not all of them are bad guys, but the people making the decisions for the U.S. Mint, they have a, a HR executive as the, the head of the U.S. Mint right now, the interim head. <laughs> How embarrassing can the United States of America get? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, this, this uh, chart right here really caught my eye. <laughs> this is uh, new one-family homes sold. Look at that drop from nine to four. That's a huge drop. So, yeah, just what happens when they raise interest rates 1%? All of a sudden, nobody buys a house. And you got massive, you know, it's, at some point, if you have silver in your hand, you're going to be able to take, you know, 10 ounces of silver and buy a nice house with it. That's how important it is. Contact Andy Sheckman at Miles Franklin. Info at milesfranklin.com. Again, go to roadrooter.com and watch these two videos. And everything makes sense after you watch these videos. It all makes sense. And then, if you want to join the private road at roadrooter.com, I will be talking to Ginny Moonstone very soon. She's got the inside scoop on the spiritual side of the Silver War. Unbelievable stuff. And all the archives are there. You can, you can go through the entire Road to Ruta website, thousands of articles I've written over the last 20 years about the exact same thing that people are talking about now. Good guys versus bad guys battle, the changeover to a new monetary system. It's all here. And my suggestions on how to do it. Although the current administration will not take my suggestions. Anyway, go check it out. And um, for every Private Road subscription, we will mail you one Ruta Lives coin. That's what it looks like right there. The coolest coin ever. They start shipping on May 1st. Uh, what was that? Next Monday.
So get your Road to Ruta coin now. Get it now. Get the low serial numbers. Each are serial number, double strike, hand-painted with the uh, the Road to Ruta red heart. Very cool stuff. Anyway, go check it out. This is Big Square, RoadToRuta.com. Pay me, pay me, pay me.